Dr. Ruth Fow devoted her life to saving others and changing stereotypes. She was shocked at what she saw when she travelled to Pakistan from Germany in 1960 to work at what was then a leper colony. The conditions in McLeod Road were really subhuman. Okay. I hadn't, I mean, I had seen much misery during the war because I'm the war generation. But I haven't seen this drawn out misery without any hope, which I saw in McLeod Road. This was a place where they stayed. There were no proper drugs to treat people with leprosy, no facilities, no electricity, no water, and scores of people needing help many who'd been abandoned as outcasts from society. Fow had her work cut out for her. There was a treatment already since 1942. But we in Pakistan, we didn't know it. So it was only in 60 that okay. people came to know that this is a disease which can be cured. It's a normal disease. And then we had a hell of a problem to convince people. She launched the Marie Adelaide Leprosy Center with the help of funds from her native Germany and turned the situation around. She got the government of Pakistan on board and expanded across the country. They treated 60,000 patients and slowed the spread of the disease. By 1990, the number of new cases was low enough that the World Health Organization declared the disease under control in Pakistan one of the first countries in Asia to reach that point. Fao didn't stop there. She traveled across the country giving medical care to people affected in floods and earthquakes. And in the last 20 years has also focused on tackling eyesight disorders and tuberculosis. She was a leader with a vision. So she saw that in remote areas of Sindh and Baluchistan there were no facilities for people suffering with eye diseases. So she initiated the program of surgical camps in, again in these remote areas. So this was her compassion that she wanted to help anybody in need in whatever way, whether the resources were available or not. Fao was given Pakistani citizenship in 1988 and has received many awards. But her motivation was something far more simple. Motivation really came as of if human beings like me and you Right. People who have also only one life to live and then it's over. People she devoted half a century to helping when many others wanted nothing to do with them. Caroline Malone, Al Jazeera.